Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for my Hit Kit Club kit for March. Today I'm doing um, a layout using the Crate Paper Craftsman. Craftsman, that was the name of it, Craftsman Paper. And I'm using the opposite side right now, this chevron pattern. It has colors of navy and like aqua. And I'm just cut, cutting it up into a few of these strips and I'm trying to keep the integrity of the chevron still visible. I just didn't want to use this background as a whole. I wanted to break it up a little bit so I'm going to be layering it on the American Crafts cardstock. I believe this color was called aqua. I could be wrong on that but it was what the cardstock add-on was for this month. And now I'm taking some Tim Holtz Distress Inks in Peacock Feathers as well as Evergreen Bow. And I'm using this Crafter's Workshop Floral Stencil and I'm using my dabber to um, stencil the, obviously in the impression, um, to the background. I wanted it to look very organic so I didn't do the complete, you know, stencil on there. And I'm doing a mixture of the two color inks. You know, first dab out would be the evergreen and then the other one would be peacock feathers and I'm just trying to almost make this very monochromatic with the you know kind of light aqua of the paper the navy and the aqua in the chevron stripes and now just adding some of the same color family for this floral pattern now I'm deciding with the strips if I like to kind of overlaying the florals or on its side um, with the picture or to give it one more try looking over here and I didn't like it so I went back to the original plan. Um, the picture I'm using is of my parents and even like their clothes. My mom's wearing like a green sweater and my dad a blue so the whole layout stays very nice within these blues and greens um, family which I really liked. So here I am just stripping, uh, putting adhesive and adding these strips down to my page and I felt like it was kind of naked on the other side so I just cut up one more strip uh, so I can add it to the opposite side of the page and that kind of completes that look for me. Then I'm taking my picture and I'm matting it. I'm just deciding which corner I liked it. I wasn't sure. And I'm just cutting it out. I like my paper trimmer for everything so I know a lot of people always like to fussy cut but I like to keep everything nice and neat and straight lines. So that's what I was doing and leaving it matted. I'm deciding if I'm going to use the extra part of the Craftsman. So these were also the ephemera pieces that came with the Hip Kit Club. Um, it's like their exclusive pack um, with two kind of flare buttons and some die cut pieces and none of them really worked for me for what I was going for. So I broke out the Crate Paper Crafts Market um, chipboard pieces to use and I did start liking um, one of the pieces that said love and I'm adding a doily um, from my collection and these are the Marquise Thickers from American Crafts and I decided my title for my video would be Big Smiles because I think my parents smiles in this picture is just perfect um, kind of captured him really well. So I really liked it. So I decided on Big Smiles and then I'll use a few of the die cuts and chipboard pieces from the pack. And my letters got all stuck on the doily. Silly me, silly me. Now I'm just working on placement just to add some of that cra uh, crafts paper doily. I think it went well with the organic grain of the matting. And now the again the blues and greens of the let the thickers go well with the overall layout which I really do love the way it turned out. Um, so I'm just gluing down all the letters, adding more adhesive to them. I temporarily lost the last letter S I had pulled. I eventually find it <laughs> somewhere. I forgot where I found it. And then I come, kind of come back with it. There you are. There's the S. Big smiles. Now I'm taking out the freckled fawn um, cork board piece, cork pieces that we got, all in the shape of hearts. And I did like one of the ephemera pa uh, pieces that says, like, a happy moment or something like that. And there I am using the love chipboard piece from the crepe paper chipboard collection and adding the fawn. And then that little piece there, too, says smile and laugh. 
which I really liked. And then from the, I think that's from Webster's Pages, but it goes with the whole collection of it. I took one of the Love It stickers and added another freckled fawn heart to the side. And I'm also going to add this Happy Day and another heart. And that would complete it. I think I love the way it turned out. So it's awesome. So you can see a little bit of the detail, the big smiles, love it, the cork piece. Transparency makes me happy. Love, happy day. Love it. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.